Florida is speeding up executions under Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, and a man known as the Ninja is on the verge of dying. Tallahassee, Florida, Florida has stepped up executions under Republican Governor Ron DeSantis, and a man known as the Ninja will die Wednesday for killing a couple visiting the state from New Jersey in 1989. The fatal injection of Robert Sturmfels, 56, and Georgette Sturmfels, 55, at their Flagler County winter home on Florida's northeast coast on December 20, 1989. DeSantis is fast signing his warrants this year as he prepares his widely anticipated presidential campaign. In his first four years in office, he oversaw only two executions, both in 2019. This execution took place six weeks after 59-year-old Donald Dilbeck was executed for the a 44-year-old Faye Van Tallahassee in 1990, and three weeks before Daryl B. Barwick's planned execution 1986 for the of 24-year-old Rebecca Went. Panama City If there are no stays for Gaskin and Barwick, it will be the shortest three executions Florida since the execution of three people in 36 days 2014 by former Governor Rick Scott, also a Republican. This will be 100th execution in the state since penalty was reintroduced in 1976. There are 297 more people awaiting the penalty in Florida. Investigators said Gaskin, known as the Ninja for wearing all-black ninja clothes during the crimes, shot his victims with a .22 caliber rifle. He was convicted of first degree. According to investigators, clock, two lamps, and a video cassette recorder that Sturmfell stole from home were found in his home and were intended as Christmas present for girlfriend. He was also found guilty of armed robbery, theft, and attempted of another couple living nearby that same night. According to local media reports at the time, Gaskin quickly confessed to the crimes and told a psychologist before his trial that he knew what he was doing. The guilt was always there, Gaskin said. The devil was stronger than God. Jurors voted 8-4 in 1990 to recommend the penalty, which the judge accepted. Florida law now requires a unanimous jury vote for penalty, although the legislature may send DeSantis a bill this week that would allow 8-4 jury recommendations for penalty. State and U.S. Supreme Courts have dismissed Gaskin's appeals since his warrant was signed, and the final rejection will come Tuesday.